Well, Indianapolis police arrested a woman who they labeled as a terrorist after they say she purposely drove her car into a building in what was described as a planned attack. Now, according to the Anti-Defamation League, the building actually houses an extremist organization that is designated as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. So this woman thought she was crashing a car into a Jewish school to hurt Jewish people and actually crashed her car into the building of a Jewish hate group. You can't make this stuff up, people. This is Rubia, she's 34. Now, she allegedly backed her vehicle into a building associated with the Black Hebrew Israelites in Indianapolis, Indiana. She told officers that she was watching news coverage of the Israel-Hamas war on television and decided to plan the attack on the building because she was offended by the Hebrew Israelite symbol on the door. She then admitted to passing by the building a couple of times and called it an Israeli school. She then made reference to the suffering about her people in Palestine and told the officers, yes, I did it on purpose. I wanted to do this for my people. Now, officers said that she jumped in her car at about 11.30 on a Friday night and drove to the building, turned the car around, and backed the car into the building while several adults and children were inside. This woman has confessed to committing a hate crime just because they were Jewish and just because she didn't like what was happening in Palestine. That's what this woman has admitted to. Sure, of the car backed up into the building because, again, she just wanted to hurt some Jews. Now, this story has a shocking twist. See, the building that this woman drove into, believing that it was a Jewish school, was actually a school for an anti-Semitic group that hates Jews. So she's tried to commit a hate crime against Jewish people, but wind up targeting people who hate Jews. You can't make this stuff up. This woman is essentially going to be facing hate crime charges for trying to attack Jews, but actually attacking a group that hates Jews. Now, initially she faced the charge of criminal recklessness, but now is facing a charge of intimidation, which would be a felony and an act of terrorism. Now, tensions are high about this war in the Middle East, and it has come to the United States. For instance, the FBI director says, Manus was arrested in Houston who supports killing Jews and studied how to build bombs. FBI agents arrested this guy who's 20 years old earlier this month. Now, this all comes after a 69-year-old man was killed at a protest between Palestinians and Israeli supporters over the war. As the war between Israel and Hamas intensifies and rallies on both sides spread here in the U.S., overnight a vigil for a 69-year-old Jewish man in Southern California who died after a fight during dueling pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian protests on Sunday. He loves Israel, is proud of being a Jew, and he went just to wave his flag. Police say Paul Kessler died after an altercation with a pro-Palestinian protester. The death has been classified by the medical examiner as a homicide, according to police. I got to keep it real with you people. It is going crazy out there. Like this woman, she's driving past the building and sees a Jewish star and then rams her car into the building. You got the guy in Houston. He's looking to shoot people up and learn how to build bombs. And people are dying at protests. Like it's getting insane out there. Now, I know how a lot of people out there feel about the FBI, but the director of the FBI did warn us about things like this. This woman driving cars in the buildings this guy trying to figure out how to make bombs they warned us here's his warning a sober warning from the director of the fbi that the war between israel and hamas could lead to attacks in the u.s our most immediate concern is that violent extremists individuals or small groups will draw inspiration from the events in the middle east to carry out attacks against americans going about their daily lives Director Christopher Ray said domestic terrorists could target Jewish or Muslim communities, and he specifically mentioned the arrest of a man in Houston earlier this month. Who'd been studying how to build bombs and posted online about his support for killing Jews. He was referring to Soheb Abuyash. In court records obtained by CBS News, prosecutors allege the 20-year-old Jordanian living in Texas, seen here at a firing range, trained with weapons to possibly commit an attack and talked of killing people of particular religious faiths. We shouldn't stop conducting our daily lives, going to schools, houses of worship, uh, and so forth. 
but we should be vigilant. Right from his mouth. This woman is exactly who he's talking about. Somebody who's watching the war on television, who happens to drive by a Jewish school, who she believes is Jewish, and says, I'm gonna ram my car into that school because what's happening in the Middle East. You couldn't have scripted it better. I do think that when you comes to something like this, the war in Israel, the war in Ukraine, I think you have a very, very high emotional event that trigger people to do ridiculous things. I think what this woman did was ridiculous. I think what this guy is doing is ridiculous. But I think at the end of the day, there's no easy answer here. And I think that's what the fight is about. How do you solve the problem between the Israelis and the Palestinians? Some people say X, some people say Y, but until that problem is solved, we're going to continuously be going through this again and again and again. We've been doing this since the 40s. And the definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing and expecting different results. That's what we're doing when it comes to this conflict. Maybe this, we got to try something new, but what we've been doing, obviously it's not working. Now, do I know what the answer is? No, I wish I did. If I did, I would tell you, but there are a lot of people out there smarter than me in positions of power and knowledge, getting paid millions of dollars to figure this stuff out. And I hope they would be able to do it. Now, I do want to say to my Palestinian brothers and sisters out there and to my Israeli brothers and sisters out there, I feel your pain, but there has to be a better way. It just has to be. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate Lawyer, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.